Hey, welcome to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, it's the boys' show. What did you call it? The bros', the bros show. show. Bros. <laughs> you like I love that? it. I like everyone, it. this is David Goldman. He's one of the owners over there at Bluegrass Medical Aesthetics. Wanted to have him on the show today. Say, so, come on. Katie's not here. Let's have it all about the guys. Why not? And Dude's he was day. like, Dude's, Dude's Day. Dude's Day I love Monday. It. The DD. The DD. <laughs> hey, it. this is going to be a fun show. There's lots of fun topics. I love it. All right, so let's, let's just kick it all off. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. When there's temptation in the workplace and unhappiness at home, uh -oh. some choose to stray. And while some have no regrets after an affair with the co workers, others are riddled with guilt. Uh -huh. Now this was an interesting survey that a young guy was having an affair with a much older woman. Mm -hmm. He then starts going to the other woman's house for dinner with the husband and kids. That's a slippery slope. <laughs> yeah. that, that spirals out of control really? quick. Yeah, oh, I mean, I, that, that's crazy. Really? Okay. Look, I have had several friends that have had affairs with the bosses. Okay. Okay. HR says that's a bad idea. Yes. Well, of course, it's it's HR says it's a bad idea, <laughs> but you can't help love. Yeah. That's the way I want I, to put I it. I guess. Okay. Well, what would happen? How would you feel about it if you know you started seeing a gal that you would? Let's mm -hmm. just say someone from here that you know, like it happens. You can't help. And your then what happens feelings. when it doesn't work out? Boom. Yeah. yeah. That's I don't want to see that person mm -mm. in the hallway every single day after everything fell apart. But some you of know. those were responses were like, now we're together, we're in love, and we've left our other spouses. Yeah, so there, was, there were a lot of headlines on the, on the um, story that we'll put up on our Facebook page. People are saying that, you know, it can work. They didn't mm -hmm. regret it. I've looked at uh, plenty of my friends have had an affair at work and ended up getting married. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, you see, spend a lot of time together, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, and it I happens. sort of think, you know, you, you know, you end up with a, an affair or whether you had feelings or I don't know whether it's a good thing. Is, is the rule to say stay away? Well, I think in all situations, it's got to come down to is it worth hurting your partner? Shouldn't you really back away from that and let that go first? Man, <laughs> well, has a point. You actually, you stumped me then. I'm thinking, yeah. well, that just defeats the whole purpose of this story. <laughs> you know, because the whole idea is you would have, be having it a work affair. But I get where you're coming from. It does happen. When you do spend a lot of time with, with one of your co-workers, if things aren't great at work, right? you know, well, they you, say do, you don't go family. out for takeout if the cooking's good at home. <laughs> oh, my. That's what they say. Is that an American Moving on. Term? No, oh, we say that in that. Australia. Okay, yeah. Moving you don't go, on. <laughs> Okay, well, down under. here's yeah. something that's a little bit interesting. Superheroes today are a lot more shredded than they used to be, if you've noticed with all the mm. comic heroes. Now, the original Superman and Batman look almost willowy compared to our muscle-bursting modern-day versions. Here's the thing. Are Americans now all about the body? The male body is... Are men feeling insecure? Well, I mean, I think you're uh, within the you're in the I'm, beauty industry. I'm in this. Uh, you know, guys come to us all the time for hormone replacement because they're not able to take their bodies to peak performance, and mm -hmm. that has to come from somewhere because they're obviously aware of it. They want to be jacked. They want to be ripped. So where are they seeing that? It's got to be in the movies, the superheroes, the Superman, the mm -hmm. Batman. I mean. I want to be like Superman. I yeah. want to wear the cape. Time to get swole. Oh, you know? sure. Oh, you but, can well, one day a week. <laughs> one day a year. It's but called think Halloween. of it this way. How long those comics have been out. They date back to the 1950s. We were different people back then. Obviously, now we're much larger. I don't think Batman's going to have a beer belly in the future. But, I mean, we have evolved as people. We're, nat we're about, what, 20 pounds bigger these days than we were back in the 50s oh, and really? 60s. Oh, yeah. I didn't think of it like that. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. And that's, but I mean, they've been around forever. I think of, I think of a guy who looks fit and healthy and has got muscle and normally has a tan and yep. beautifully white teeth. And it's an attractive look for gals out there. Look. It's sort of like, yeah, I want that arm candy. <laughs> Wasn't Superman in the media industry? He was a journalist. He Aren't was. you guys in the media uh, industry? Uh, Are I'm one of you Eric guys Superman. just about to oh, yeah. rip off and be like, hold on, there's something I've got to take care of? Yeah. You know, hanging out in the phone booth. Like, <laughs> is that, is that what happens? Go. Yeah. And then he, he flips the switch. <laughs> he flips the switch. Okay, well, here's something. Look, this is all about the guys today. I know. I know it's boys. a little yeah, crazy. It's good. 
But look, it's, you know, from improving your salary to making you more popular, being attractive has benefits in a wide range of areas. Mm. A new study suggests that attractiveness of a candidate also correlates with their politics. Okay, the findings indicate that people in Europe, the US and Australia find right-wing politicians better looking for, than those on the left. So are these the politicians? So are here's the, the perfect are, are example. Are they the party members or just the, okay. <laughs> um, who's the better take, looking? Take, take it away. <laughs> take I don't know, away. I feel like uh, Barack's got some smooth skin He's got yeah. some smooth moves. But you know, again, you can't compare that angelic hair I mean, oh. you, can't, you can't go against that. Look at that hair. I still hey, think you, of Jimmy Fallon Did you watch Obama it. last night on 60 Minutes? It was a brilliant interview. And it was you know, his last interview of his presidential career. But, you know, that was just the article. But let me tell you, do you really think that men or women who are more beautiful, mm. who look better, I don't necessarily mean thin, okay, but do you think people who have better looks get ahead in life much easier? Get the job promotion, get the better girlfriend or boyfriend, get the, the beautiful car, get the aspirations that they drive for? I think so. I think it has a huge effect. Uh, you know, we're seeing a lot more people come in, males, that mm. are getting rid of wrinkles, want to have smooth skin, and they're in sales. They're in, um, you know, and some of them, their wives are making them come in. They're like, True. hey, I have to look at you every day. Go look, <laughs> you know, I mean. Go fix yourself. Go do something <laughs> with all well, this. There was back in the day, now, uh, it wasn't called manscaping. It was when men, hetero, not heterosexual, what is it when they were all starting to look all pretty, all the guys? Metrosexual, Metrosexual yeah. thank yeah. you. And that was a big craze about five to ten years ago. Yeah. It's like, that's that a metrosexual yeah. guy. But now it's sort of like everyone's having the mm -hmm. Botox, everyone's having the fillers. And if you're in the, you know, public view, you want to look good. Yeah. You, you want people to say, wow, man, they look healthy. That's true. So I think, uh, you know, they obviously, they, they made it. Well, what do you think, Mr. You're in the business. Well, yeah. So you know it, it's, it's important to look at It's a very cutthroat business yeah. that we work in. But I, I think it's sad that we've got so far away from education and experience, and now looks can put you over the top. But that's the world we live in. That's how we've evolved. Well, I look at it like this. You know, you, it's been no secret I had hairdressing salons back home in Australia, and I was a celebrity stylist. Mm -hmm. I would never go to a hairdresser or employ a hairdresser that had bad hair. I wouldn't go to a cosmetologist or an esthetician with bad skin because you have to be good at your craft right yeah True. if you're selling the beauty which is what your business is about everyone in your office has got to be gorgeous yeah. with all the latest and greatest things available is that right you know I think it's a it's a tough call to have it is and ultimately you know you do want to hire the right person for the job no matter what mm. but my girls love the aspect of being able to take care of themselves with our products. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, they love that line. All right, I'm going to ask you, would you do anything? Would I? If, let's just say we sent you over to David's Let me Botox clinic. Oh, Come on. Botox is it that bad Come on, already? man. <laughs> Maybe I need some more makeup Would you something. do it? Would I? Yeah. I, I, I guess I would. I mean, would I'm, you? I'm okay. open to All it. Right. You're, you're I don't think I'm there yet. I mean, I'm still in my 20s. Well, so bro I'm bro not talks. We're yeah. bro talks. Bro talks. Okay. It's We're called bro When you put it that way. Preventative. <laughs> okay, very quickly, we need to touch on something very this sad. Is, this is huge. That's well, hold on. Sad for the business, but good on other aspects. I agree with you. We are tight on time, but the greatest show on earth, so it's been coined, coming to an end after 146 years, the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus shutting down. Last show will be in New York on May 21st. Ticket sales have plummeted, mm -hmm. especially once they removed the elephants from the act that was just a few years ago that led places like SeaWorld to also cancel yeah. their uh, killer whale shows. 146 but years or something, is that right? 146 years. I mean, this thing, there's a quote from the CEO, and he says, this thing has survived world wars yep. and everything. And the and depression. And look what's happened. And yeah. back in the day, um, even with the world war, um, and I can't remember who was your president in the second world war, but he allowed the circus to be traveling by train. Mm -hmm. Was it Eisenhower? Was your uh, uh, president? That's right. dreadful you two uh, don't know what Let's not judge is. people for Oh my their, goodness, hey. You know. Well, let's judge Eric with the weather.